even when we come from supermarket or from marketplace, we never uh, take out uh, packages out of car when everybody can see. So we put the car first to the yard and when nobody can see, only then we take out our packages because I don't like to see these faces, you know, through the windows to see what's going on there. They came, what they brought, you know. So it's it's very typical. It's very typical for our people. It is true that modesty in Ukraine not is so big, that people try always try to be better than neighbor, absolutely, and always like to show it off. Yes. Yes, that's um, uh, that's the um, national feature of Ukrainian people. Uh, we have a lot of anecdotes and funny, ridiculous stories about these national features, because we used to say here, neighbor's pig is always fatter than mine. Uh, neighbor's wife is always nicer than mine. That's why people, uh, it's very trendy here it's in our character in our genetic to show off really that seems funny but a lot of really poor girls really poor girls from the uh, very poor families who can hardly exist maybe and have a very like cheap clothes you can see that even walking in the city but they can have iPhones because iPhone, it's a symbol of trend here, of fashion. Uh, the higher model of iPhone you have, the cooler you, you are. Uh, people, uh, people here always have contest between each other. Whose car is more expensive, whose remodeling or renovation in the house is more cool. I remember the story when my neighbors, they built the house maybe like two, three years ago, but still, uh, they continue remodeling because some of family circumstances, something's going on there. But I remember when they built just walls and we came across coming back home and the lady stopped us specifically and just started to, to tell us something. And then... She said, oh, you know, and we say, oh, how is building, how it's going on, like when when you will move here, something like this, you know, normal questions, like because we need neighbors here, like constantly living, not just coming for summer, but constantly living. And she said, oh, you know what, we're going to make here something really cool, something really luxurious, top on the top. You know, we have an apartment in the city which is 90 square meters, and there we have like marble something shit. Oh, my God, me and my husband, we were standing and looking at her, even not telling something. Why you explain us what class or how much expensive stuff you're gonna make in your house who cares actually who asked you about that and who is interested because people used to be interested what's going on beside besides the fence neighbors fence or behind the fence right sorry and what's going on in his house so people can watch you really while you're coming from the marketplace how big packages you have how long you were absent, how often guests are coming to you. That all what makes our people interested. They all are curious, but in a bad way. They want to know what's going on behind the curtain. Who is working? How much is earning? Uh, who bought this car? If it was bought for cash or by credit? Oh my God, they brought so many packages from marketplace mm, they have money so what they gonna have for supper that's very habitual here actually very trendy and very national feature so yeah but that's not i wouldn't say that's about modesty honestly that's not about modesty but people really like to show off and even not having money for food they will take credits and loans buying luxurious car, luxurious mm, clothes or iPhones. They will pay these credits for years and being hungry, honestly, inside 
the house, right? Having no enough food. But to make other people thinking, oh my God, he is cool. That's very national feature of our people. I never care. As for me, I'm absolutely not envious person. This feeling is atrophied in me. I, I never, I, I'm always looking what I can have, what I can manage to have and what I'm able to get due to my skills, my chances, my perspectives, uh, my goals and my energy. That's it. So I, I actually don't care what people planted behind their fence. But I know that some neighbors discussing me uh, with another neighbors how many um, plants we planted in the spring. I don't know why that makes people curious. Why? Why it's not potato but roses? Uh, why it's not uh, pumpkins uh, but um, pomegranate? why it's blueberry instead of corn so why i spend money not so money wisely by their opinion why i should have um, big open space just for running for kids and dogs because it's a waste of land uh, should be planted by potato why she lives the life she wants to live and they heard from two or three different neighbors when people who live next to me come to them and say, oh, my God, did you see how many plants she planted? She's crazy. But uh, to read between lines, like how much money she spent to plant all this? And when she, why she is spending this money not for potato, but for some exotic stuff. So it's absolutely, absolutely can be irritating for other people uh, because um, they think that land, ordinary people who were born in village, like countryside people, they think that uh, there is no... Uh, free space should be because all should be used by uh, something what you're gonna eat in winter i also do that but uh, thanks god i have a little bit more piece of land bigger piece of land and i can afford i have small child i have my dogs and i really like them to have space to run to enjoy to have a rest to to play not just uh, walking between potato lines, you know. But that's my decision, my money, my decision, my land. Why should anybody be interested in that, you know? So even when we come from supermarket or from marketplace, we never uh, take out uh, packages out of car when everybody can see. So we put the car first to the yard. And when nobody can see, only then we take out our packages because I don't like to see these faces, you know, through the windows to see what's going on there. They came, what they brought, you know. So it's it's very typical. It's very typical for our people. Hello. Hi. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Hello. Привет. And welcome to UkraineDating.tv. Now you have the opportunity to video chat free seven days a week with different beautiful Ukrainian girls of all ages and walks of life. Oh my God. <laughs> That's it. I'm all yours. So I, I brought flowers. Wow, it's so beautiful. You get to ask all your deepest burning questions about all things Ukraine. And if you come to enough of our live streams, you might just discover what makes us mysterious Ukrainian women tick. Okay, so we will see you live every day over at ukrainedating.tv.